Hey folks, Chris here with the Crab Apple Cottage. Today I'm going to show you how to make these hog panel or cattle panel trellises. You'll see these all over YouTube. They're super, super simple. Um, probably the hardest part of this project is getting the panels from the store to your house because these panels are 16 feet long. Uh, the cattle panels measure, I think, four feet wide and the hog panels measure three feet wide. Um, so it depends on how big your beds are. My beds are four feet wide, but when I put the cattle panels inside the beds, they, they don't quite fit, so we went with the hog panels. Um, so I have, oh, eight, nine, nine of them on my property so far. I'm getting ready to put in at least five more. Over here I have, well, I did have hardy fig growing on this one. I've got grapes growing on these two here. And then the ones going between the raised beds, um, I usually put um, peas or pole beans, uh, scarlet runner beans, squash, zucchini, anything that vines or climbs you can put on these. And so it's really nice because, like for example, in this bed right here, it's planted with potatoes. And then right here um, along the trellis on both sides here and here, I have peas planted. So it gives me um, extra growing space. Plus it looks really pretty in the summer with the plants growing up the trellis, especially if you have something that's beautiful like a scarlet runner bean. It makes this really beautiful arch. So um, I'm gonna show you how to install these. Th these are the ones that we just put in a few days ago and I'll show you how that process went. Um, like I said, you, the, probably the hardest part is getting the panels home. So do some searching online and see if you can find the various ways that people do it. Um, I, guess, I suppose you probably could have them delivered, I don't know. But what method that we use is we use a pickup truck with some boards, some long boards sticking out the back of it. And then we place the cattle panels in the truck, kind of hanging out of the back. And the boards support the weight of the panels um, at the end that's hanging out. We just tie everything down really, really well. And then we slowly take the back roads home. <laughs> so that's our process. I've seen people where they actually like bend them or roll them up, tie them down. I've seen somebody... Um, actually tie them to the top of their car which was crazy because it like covered the windshield so that's going to be up to you how you get them here but if you can get cattle panels or hog panels they're seriously the best thing ever I love them um, I like I said I have a nine trellises right now. I'm getting ready to put in five more and I'm actually going to be putting some berry canes in the back and I'm going to be cutting the panels in half and using them as um, just horizontal trellises for my berry canes. So stick with me and I'll show you how to do easy DIY hog panel trellises. So in addition to your hog panels or cattle panels, you'll also need T-posts. Uh, we use six-foot T-posts. Those seem to work out pretty well. You need zip ties. Um, we use 11, 10 to 11 inch black zip ties to hold the trellis to the T-posts. And then it's also helpful to have a post driver. I think you could probably use a rubber mallet, but really just spend, if you're going to be putting up a lot of trellises, just either borrow or buy a post, um, a post driver. That's the easiest thing in my opinion. brother manhandling these hog panels. So this is kind of a two-person job. One person has to hold the hog panel while the other person arches it and bends it into place. So the last thing you do is secure the um, hog panels or cattle panels, whichever you're using, to your T-post. These are 8 inch, I think these are probably going to be too small, I have 11 inch as well, so I'm going to use the 11 inch ones. Um, and you're just going to take them and secure them to the post, 
I'll show you over here one that's already done because it's hard to do it while I'm filming. So here's one from last year. You can see we did it and then we just trimmed it off. But yeah, so you just trim them off and then you're all done. It's that easy. It's a two person job simply because you have to um, manhandle or woman handle the hog panel. And just like that, we're all done. So we got these three new panels put in. Um, you can see this one here. This one actually has grapes growing over it. It's got green grapes, I believe, and that one over there has red grapes. Um, so they're really versatile. They're super, super easy to use. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll talk to you later.